we are being told to look away. The official story says 3i Atlas is a closed chapter, a fading comet drifting harmlessly into the dark. But the data coming from the Hubble Space Telescope tells a very different story, a story that is inconvenient, unsettling, and potentially terrifying. While the world stops watching, 3i Atlas is not fading. It is building a shield. Recent images have revealed a cloud of dust surrounding its core. But this isn't normal dust. It is composed of particles that are almost exactly 10 microns in size. That is a very specific number. In optics, 10 microns is the perfect size to make an object opaque. It is a literal mask. Our interstellar visitor is hiding. It is wrapping itself in a blanket of dust to blind our sensors. Why would a rock need to hide? And why is it showing a structure that defies the laws of physics? Today, we are going to look past the shield. We are going to analyze the heartbeat of this object. And we are going to ask the question, is 3i Atlas a comet or is it a machine? To understand why this dust cloud is so suspicious, you have to look at the behavior of the tail. In nature, things go with the flow. If you throw a leaf into a river, it drifts downstream. In our solar system, the river is the solar wind a stream of particles screaming out from the sun. Comets always point away from the wind. It is basic physics. But 3i Atlas is treating physics like a suggestion. The Hubble images from December show a double jet structure, and one of those jets is pointing into the wind. It is pointing at the sun. This is an anti-tail, and it refuses to fade. Think about that. The object is moving away from the sun. It is getting colder. It should be dying. Instead, this jet is stabilized. It is anchored near the pole of the object, and it is firing with a precision that doesn't depend on solar heat. Harvard scientist Avi Loeb suggests this might not be a tail at all. It might be an exhaust or a defensive shield, used to deflect radiation and protect the core. If it were a simple rock, the sun-facing side would have changed as it rotated, but the jet is locked on. It is tracking the sun, like a weapon system. But the shield is just the first anomaly. The second one is the heartbeat. Back in July, astronomers noticed a rhythm. Every 16, 16 hours, the object would pulse, a surge in brightness, then a fade. It wasn't the random flickering of a tumbling rock. It was a stabilized broadcast signal. But now, that heartbeat is changing. As the object retreats into the dark, the pulse has dropped to 15, five hours. It is spinning faster. Mainstream science says this is just mass loss. The comet is melting and spinning up like a figure skater pulling in her arms. But with 3i Atlas, every change feels less like decay and more like a recalibration. And while we try to time this heartbeat, the object is doing its best to make sure we can't see the source. That 10 micron dust cloud is doing its job perfectly. It reflects sunlight, creating a massive glowing coma that hides the sharp boundaries of the nucleus. We can't see the hull, we can only see the fog. Based on the light reflection, mainstream models say the core is two kilometers wide. But if that dust is artificial, if it is a screen, then the core could be much smaller, maybe only 700 meters. We are looking at a massive glowing shell, hiding a small, dense machine inside. And finally, there is the exit strategy. Most headlines say the object is leaving, but it isn't just drifting, it is navigating. In March 2026, 3i Atlas is set to reach the hill radius of Jupiter. It is using the king of planets for a final gravitational slingshot. The efficiency of this route is staggering. If you were an alien civilization and you wanted to scan our solar system, this is exactly how you would fly. You wouldn't just pass through you would hit the gravitational keys to maximize your speed and your coverage. You would fly past the most interesting moons, Europa, Enceladus, places that might harbor life. This feels less like a random tumble and more like a tourist route. And as it moves, it is launching material at one kilometer per second. For a comet, that speed is impossible. Solar warming pushes gas at maybe 500 meters per second. This is double that speed. It suggests a mechanical force, a high-pressure ejection system. It feels like a propulsion maneuver, or perhaps a seeding sequence. Some researchers whisper about the seeding hypothesis, the idea that 3i Atlas isn't just a visitor. It is a farmer, 
As it passes through, it spreads organic compounds, or microscopic sensors, across the orbital paths of our planets. It is a quiet, efficient way to colonize or monitor a system without ever making a sound. This brings us back to the silence. We always ask, where is everybody? Maybe the dark forest theory is the answer. In a dangerous universe, you don't scream, here I am, with radio signals. You move like a shadow. You send objects like 3II Atlas, shrouded in 10 micron masks, hidden behind impossible anti-tails, following trajectories that look just natural enough to keep the locals from panicking. I can't shake the feeling that we are looking at a silent observer. It came to see who was making all that noise on Earth. And now that the task is complete, it is moving on. It didn't come to talk to us, it came to watch. As 3I Atlas retreats into the eternal void, it leaves us with a choice. We can believe the comfortable narrative. It was just a weird rock. Or we can look at the shield it built, the heartbeat it maintained, and the calculated path it took, and admit that we might have just been scanned. The truth is, 3I Atlas doesn't owe us an explanation. The shield of silence did its job. It kept the core hidden. Maybe its real purpose was simply to remind us that we aren't the only ones watching the dark. Keep your eyes on the stars. But remember, the stars might be watching you back. In Cosmo, we trust.